Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. And we got an interesting video I'm doing here today. Um, the other day, as I approach my ship and get in, I had a person make a comment in regards to one of my videos and described, you know, making some adjustments using, say, the D-pad uh, in regards to a ship battle that I was in. And I thought he was referring to camera view. And I changed some settings on my mouse and I was able to use an alternative button so that I can actually, you know, pan around my ship like this. And then I realized that's not what he's talking about. He's talking about a little feature called power management on your ship. So before we go any further, let's bring the ship to a pause real quick. and Let's take a look at the settings on the ship. So this ship I have here, if you look at the top right, you're going to look at damage potential 356, shield strength 308, right? Maneuverability 1560, very maneuverable, of course. So we're looking at those settings, and then we look at the actual gun itself, and you see this gun is supercharged at 87,000 damage. Okay, that's great. So what is this power management all about? Let's check this out. If I hit this button that I've reassigned on my mouse, diverting powers to weapons. Let's take one more look at our weapons real quick. 100,000 damage. Unbelievable. This is actually a setting that is going to change things pretty seriously for me as I start to play this game a little bit more often now. So let's take a look at that. Now, the damage has gone up on the weapons, right? You notice that my damage potential still says 356. Shield strength, uh, strength still says 308. Now, if we could, of course, go to the shields that are on here, there's really not much to say in regards to it. It just tells us what a shield strength is. Nothing special. Let's get back out of here. If I hit that button a second time, it diverts power to engines. Well, what does that do? Well, we're going to show you that in just a moment. And then finally, diverting power to shields. And again, if I go in here, you'll see my damage potential has dropped. And shield strength has gone up a little. 308.3. Let's do it one more time. Still 308.3. So you notice the damage potential dropped from 356. So let's do it again. Weapons. Engines. Still about the same over here. But you'll notice that my, my top damage has dropped to 61. If I go to shields, it's still at 61. But you notice the damage potential itself drops and it boosts my shields. Now, nothing actually happens over here. So we'd have to get into a battle in order to test that theory out. Let's go back to balance for a moment and go down to the planet and take a look at things. All right, so as we hit the planet here, we're just gonna fly around just a little bit so you can see the potential that this ship has. Now, this is kind of an odd colored planet I'm loving the sky. It's kind of an iridescence while the planet is black and white. It's really, really cool. So you see how fast we're flying along this planet surface, right? Yeah, don't worry about the night radiation. So let's change this to engines. Now, some people say they see a significant increase in speed on the planets and maneuverability. I'm not seeing a whole lot. But I've been told that there is a, there is a difference. Very interesting. I'm not sure if I see much of a difference here. Shields, and if we go a little further, you notice that I'm actually going slower. All right, hold on. Let's keep going like this. Let's keep going like this. I'm going to change as I get leveled out just a little bit. Balanced. I got a little bit faster. Weapons, slower engines and yeah actually I am seeing I do seem to be going faster actually until I hit that stupid worm <laughs> all right again let's do it one more time shields actually let's do let's do first person view well, let's see we're doing 412 right now for 412 units per second while we're flying right balanced we're at 443 Weapons, we're down to 412. Engines, we're hitting 506. Ah, so we do see a big difference in that. Isn't that fascinating? Very, very interesting. So you're seeing it as, as I am right now. 
Back to shields, back to 412. Balanced, we're back to 442. Fascinating. So you'll do, you will see a difference in the speed. Very interesting, very interesting. So what was the last thing? We got weapons, we got shields. So we need to pick ourselves a fight someplace, don't we? That's what we gotta do here. Let's go fight something. And if I stop, I guarantee you we'll have some ships popping in any second some point in time. Of course there's no ships pop popping in right now, correct? Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and just hit our galaxy map real quick. We're just going to boost to another system real fast. Yeah, that'll work fine for our intentions here. Now, I don't know if a battle is going to pop up or not, but if not, I'm going to pick a fight. And we'll check this out. Now, a lot of people will say in the comments section, you know, you could have done this as a short. You could have done this as a couple minute video. Where's the fun in that, folks? Oh, look at this. I got a space battle. Isn't that interesting? Well, this will be good. So first things first. I am going to dismiss my squadron because I don't want them getting in the way. All right. So as I fly around, I am currently in balanced mode. So there we go. Weapons, and I'm going to go to shields, because that's the thing we're most interested in, right? Oh, yeah. there we go. Hold on. Engines, shields. Okay, there we go. We're on shields right now. Let's get these guys to attack us a little bit. They shoot like stormtroopers, apparently. Now, I'm literally, I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting them shoot at me. Huh. You notice the shields are having a hard time going down. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And we can shoot at them a little bit. Now I'm using the wrong weapon. Let me go ahead and switch over to my infra knife. As you can see, it's just a devastating weapon to begin with, and it'll take these guys out no matter what kind of power setting I have it set to. Nice. Nice. Alright. So let's see what how we do. Yeah, see, these things are just so freaking powerful, it's ridiculous. He's gone. Alright, now we're going to switch over. Balanced, and we're going to go back to weapons now. And as he shoots at me, and it runs into the back of my ship, because he's an idiot. You drive like the people on the highways around here. You see, my shields are dropping a lot quicker. Let's see what the weapons do to him. And we get a line gun shot. And he's just gone within moments. So that takes care of that. That, that explains so much as far as to what could be, ha be happening here. Uh, we're going to go back to... I don't think engines really is going to help me at all. The shields, we're slowing down a little bit. So I'm going to leave it on shields and we'll see how we do. I think we'll, be do, we'll do pretty good here. So... Basically, that tells you that this does have an impact on it. It's something I didn't even know existed. I didn't know existed until this guy said, hey, why aren't you doing this? And I'm like, well, you know, I can move my camera around. I don't know how that's going to help me in a battle. And then I found that it has nothing to do with the camera. He's talking about other things. So there we go. So let's go ahead and take out a couple of the last guys here. We'll finish out the battle, and we'll call this video an end. And I want to thank you all for watching, too. Appreciate it. Remember, don't aim at the ship. You'll get in trouble for that. Yeah, she 
do it. Oh, good deal. So that, basically, in a nutshell, is what all the power management has to do. So we'll hit it again. We're back to balanced. Excellent. So you can set a button on your mouse, you can set a button on your keyboard, however you want to do it in order to rebalance everything like that. Since I have a multi-button mouse here, I'm going to go ahead and continue to use what I've got there in order to be able to do it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I want to thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments, or just, hey, leave comments on your own, and we'll go ahead and talk about it at some of the later date. Uh, so, and I, I apologize, I know the audio on this is cut, cutting in just out, fading in out just a little bit. Uh, I got some adjustment settings I'm going to be doing on that, so I do apologize for that. But hey, please hit that like and subscribe. It does help the analytics out. You know how that is with the... Uh, with how YouTube does things. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, yes, please do so. We've got a lot more videos coming. We've got a good series coming up with a permadeath run that's going to go all the way to the center of the galaxy. So, hey, we'll go ahead and see you in the next video. Take care, everybody, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.